Alright dudes, today I'm going to draw a Tibetan skull. I've drawn a lot of these Tibetan skulls in the past, but they were always for tattoos. Tattooed a bunch of them. Always a fun tattoo, I mean, skull tattoos are just timeless, aren't they? But these ones are really cool, these ones are really fun to do. Yeah, if you, if you didn't know, these are really common in tattooing, a lot of people get them tattooed. I'm not sure if everybody understands the meaning of them but it doesn't really matter if you know the meaning of them like they're just cool to look at aren't they there's some things that have a lot of meaning that are pretty boring to look at and there's some things that are just badass to look at and a Tibetan skull has a lot of meaning to it but it's also aesthetically badass they're just so sick to look at. So, yeah, I just want to make one that looks really cool. That's always my goal with all my pieces, especially mandalas, is to make them look badass. Like, I don't... There's a lot of... Um, I don't know how to say this. There's a lot of... There's a lot of soft mandalas out there, and I want mine to look hard, if that makes sense. I just want them to look a bit more masculine, but still hold that smooth kind of look to them. Like, not being so jagged and rough and ready, you know, like, still have an elegance to them, but be on the more dark, masculine side of things. And I think I pull that off quite well. I hope, anyway. I mean, I used to get a lot of requests when I was tattooing to soften my pieces and make them more feminine. So, I guess they are quite masculine, which I'm happy about. That's that's the style I want to go for. So, Tibetan schools do have a lot of meaning to them. I think they're called Kapalas in, in Tibet or Nepal, where you find them. Um, which means skull bowl, literally a bowl made of a skull. And what they would do is cut the cap off the skull and turn it upside down and use that as a bowl. And they would fill it with either wine or little cakes and offer these as a ritual at an altar to please the gods, the angry gods. They would calm them down with wine. <laughs> and um, different different skulls had uh, like different powers. So like basically the, the younger the body was, the more power the skull had. And they believed that as a human, if you were drinking from the skull of this person, you would take on their attributes and pieces of their personality and they would they would always carve the skulls and like adorn them with jewels and silver most of the time it was just the skull cap that they would do but sometimes they would just carve the whole skull they had a lot of time on their hands I guess they would just go for it and just carve the whole thing and um I think they had to, they, they would soak the bone in water first, like, for a while to soften it, and then you can carve into it. It's pretty cool. I'd like to give it a go. I used to have a bunch of skulls that I'd collected. Not human skulls, just uh, skulls that I found when I was out and about. Sheep skulls, had a horse skull, rabbit skull. I think I found a cat skull once. Yeah, but I ended up getting rid of them. I don't know. I went through a period where I thought skulls were just like bad juju to have around. And I don't know, they just reminded me too much of death and I didn't want them. I think I think I was hung up on the fact that um, your soul can stay attached to physical items. 
especially your bones, obviously. And I didn't know what kind of lives these animals had had. And it didn't feel right to have their skulls in my house without knowing their history. Like, what if they'd had really bad lives and they were just bringing bad energy to my space? So I ended up just uh, giving them back to nature and just leaving, leaving them for someone else to find. I'm thinking I'm going to try and use this on a bandana or something, get it printed on something, because it's a pretty cool design. It would look pretty badass on a bandana, I think. Or I might colour it, just add some gold in places, some gold flourishes. I think that would look cool. We'll see. Let me know what you think I should do with this. Where would this design fit well? I mean, it would be a it would be a pretty cool cover for a book, for like a journal or a notepad or something. A square one. I think I'll draw more like this. You know, I think um, this channel has just been mainly focusing on mandalas but I do like to draw other things I just haven't been putting them on this channel and since I since I um, discovered mandalas I've just been obsessed with them and I just don't really spend that much time drawing anything else just I don't know I don't know what it is they're just there's just so much fun to draw and there's just always so much it just makes me feel good and if it makes me feel good why not and also people seem to really appreciate them so it's nice to do it for that reason just to show other people and for for whatever reason I don't know a lot of people tell me they're inspired by my mandalas so I'll keep doing them but I do want to draw a lot of other things and I have actually started drawing a lot of things I've drawn so much this month you have no idea I've been drawing every morning for about four hours and then I do a bit of work and whatever in the afternoon and then on the evenings I draw for again probably another four hours so I'm literally drawing for like eight eight solid hours of the day and I'm finishing two drawings a night I try and do like a little it's all on the iPad you know like quick quick drawings um, but I don't really like showing off my work that I do on the iPad because it just doesn't feel real I don't know it's a really good tool but the work just doesn't feel real they're like they're like two totally different styles of drawing aren't they on paper it's more like fine art and on the iPad it's more it's more like graphics. Doesn't matter what you're drawing, it's like a graphic. I'm drawing the same kind of stuff that I'd be drawing on paper, I'm just drawing it a hell of a lot faster. I've also been drawing like a lot of fantasy scenes, um with like cosmic skies and moons and planets and stars and mountains and landscapes it's really fun for me to draw right now so I've just been drawing loads of them and been doing a few mandalas on the iPad as well but they literally are so fast to draw you can draw a full mandala with like 20 segments or whatever in like half an hour completely coloured I mean shaded. It's just too easy. It's too easy. Nowhere near as satisfying as drawing on paper though. I'll never stop drawing on paper. So yeah, there it is. Tibetan skull. Hope you like it. I had fun drawing this one. I drew it over the span of like four days. And yeah, I want to get it printed on something. So let me know what you think I should get it printed on. Oh, and... Head over to my Patreon 
and just have a look around. That's the best way to support my channel if you want to see more videos like this. There's a bunch of bonus content on there that you might find interesting. So yeah, just go have a look. Cool, so um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Ta-ra!